Boy oh boy, I really enjoyed making this video. The name's Masbro and today I'm gonna showcase some summer build hacks, four kinds of pools, two kinds of slides, tons of little build hacks that you can use for your summer builds. Enjoy the video and let's start by digging up our pool. I decided to go for this sort of uh, U-shape or C-shape depending on which angle you're looking at it from. Uh, okay, so we gotta dig one more layer deep to put in the floor tiles for our pool. I'll just do that real quick in time lapse and basically that's done. And now let's select some blocks that we'll use for the base layer of the pool. We want to mix it up to make it look cool. I mean, if you want, you can just use the same block, but I like to mix it up just to make things look a little bit more interesting. Let's start filling up the water, and there we have it, our pool. It's not too deep, so people won't get drowned in it. And let's start filling in some slabs on the side, just to make a nice border area around the pool. Let's add some stairs to make it easier to get in and outside of our summer pool. And we'll add some more on the other side as well. And there you have it, the pool is done, stairway is done, easy to get in, the water feels good, and it's also easy to get out. Now let's start by doing one of my favorite parts of this build, building the water slide. So we're gonna clear out the slabs on this side first, and you can build as many slides as you want. I mean, hey, it's your water park after all. And for my slide, I'm gonna use bright looking colors just to make things look very summer-like. And if you do like videos like these, do consider hitting the like button and a subscribe would be spectacular. Okay, that's the overall look. Let's have a look at what the slide should look like from the side. Now just copy this shape. If you need to pause, feel free to pause at any time. This is the exact same thing from the other side. It's basically the outline of our slide. Now the yellow blocks here is is the actual slide so that blue block on the side is basically what will hold the water so we're gonna build the yellow bit here basically just one block behind the blue one and as we finish on this yellow one we're gonna repeat the pattern again except we're gonna repeat what we did on the blue block on that side let's just add one more block to the back Yep, that looks like a good shape, so we'll do the red one exactly like we did the blue one. And basically, we'll repeat this pattern till the end. You can have as many slides as you want, you can make it any shape you like. I like to do it this way because there's that big drop at the start. I think it makes it a little bit more scary to go on. Alright, let's just finish the build, keep repeating this to the end, and we'll have a fully functional water slide. So I'll just show you the steps again, just uh, I guess for one or two more of the blocks, and then I guess you can continue on your own. It should be pretty easy, it just rinse and repeat. Just to add some security, let's get some pillars done for the water slides, just to make sure they don't topple over. Although those things don't really happen in Minecraft, but my gosh, that actually looks pretty high now that I'm standing from underneath. Uh, we'll add a few more pillars as well, one here right down in the middle, and we'll add 
a few more to the back we'll add four blocks there that's where the back pillars will be and just pull it up to the same height so we have six pillars now and we'll make a platform up top use wooden beams I think that looks pretty good and the next step would be finding a way to actually get up there now we could just use I mean ladders all the way up if you want if you want to make it easy just use ladders but I think part of the experience of doing these water slides is actually walking up and starting to realize that you actually don't want to go on the slide once you realize it's that high up. So we're going to use stairs here. So uh, follow this pattern that I'm using and it should get you to the exact height of the build. Um, I mean, if you do it a little bit differently, you might not end up at the right spot. So this is how I did it after a few tries. So just a few more stairways up. Pardon the camera angles going here and there, it might be a bit dizzying. But here we are right in the middle of the build and we'll fill in the rest with planks like so. I think this color goes really well with the build. And now that that's done, we gotta make sure you guys don't fall off the top. So what we'll do is we'll add some fences and we'll use that kind of shape. I added some fences on the stairway as well. Now we'll just put some sign boards over here, fill in the water on the slides and we're pretty much done. Can't wait to give it a try. That's how it looks. I think it looks pretty gorgeous. But let me know what you think. What would you do differently with the water slide? So let's, let's do a first time experience just walking up. Um, yup, it looks pretty high from up here. What color am I gonna go for? Shall we go for the pink, alright? Or maybe orange? Orange it is, orange it is. So I like this little drop that we have down here. It goes pretty deep and you get submerged in the water for a little bit. Another big drop and then you ease your way out to the pool. I mean, it might be a bit dangerous if there's a lot of people swimming down there, so the slowdown is pretty good at the end. Really enjoyed that ride, I hope you liked it too. Let's go to our next build hacks. Okay, so now let's build a nice area to lounge in. All you need is a slab and a stair. Now, any kind of block would work. Just put signboards on the side. They, I guess they look like armrests. And we can also make a little shade. What do you call this thing? I, I, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, English not first language, but uh, yeah, the, the, the little umbrella thingies just to keep uh, whoever's coming to your park a little bit cool in the shade. So we're going to use strings here that, so that we can actually put carpets on top, put strings all around. Now grab carpets of any color. I'm going to go with light blue and yellow. I think it's a good combo. We're going to go two blocks, two blocks and two blocks for each. So we have that sort of nice blue and yellow look which I think goes really well with the prismarine daybeds. Now we can make larger daybeds by just putting them side by side like so and we can use a copper rod plus a sea pickle or a flower pot to make kind of a, I guess a cup holder or a, a champagne holder, wine holder, whatever you want it to be. Okay that looks pretty good. Uh, it also works pretty well with slabs. Now this is a second design for the umbrella. Now I like this one a lot because it actually works because it's foldable. So we're gonna put trap doors on the side. Very simple to build. So when 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 the guests actually want it to be really hot, they can leave it closed, and if they want some shade, they can leave it open. So I guess that looks pretty good. On we go to the next build. So now I'm gonna sort of build a half circular pool. Uh, just follow this pattern right here. It should turn out pretty good. Now this pool is going to be a little bit different. I saw this on TikTok and it's basically a whirlpool. So that's the shape that we're going for. The next thing that we want to do here is dig up the first layer. Uh, oops, I actually I accidentally over dug that. So we're going to just uh, dig this part here and then we're going to have to dig another layer of soil underneath. So we'll just go do that real quick. Be sure you have some soul sand with you because we're going to have to replace this lower layer with soul sand. So let's just fill her up. And what the soul sand does is it's going to actually give some pretty awesome particle effects on the water and you're sort of gonna float on it so let's go fill it in with water like so and as you can see there's these bubbly thing coming up 
and yeah it's a nice addition so if you want to just enjoy the side of the pool you can hang out over there here's a little nice touch i like to add just put some glass panes between the pool and now you can actually see it through the other side which i think is a really cool thing to have a lot of modern pools nowadays actually have that so i kind of stole that design from in real life now the next thing i want to do is another kind of pool and i think this is an original i haven't seen it uh, online anywhere yet maybe but then again there's so many good builders out there so well basically dig three blocks down over here and what we're gonna make here is actually a hot water pool so we're gonna put some campfires underneath which we're actually just using for the particle effects but at the same time it kind of makes sense because basically we're boiling the pool so we'll add some blocks on top for the base layer of the water and then we're gonna put some stairways on the side this is optional of course but I think it's a nice area to lounge in and just hang about with your friends and then we'll just fill in the center bits with water like so and just fill in the side with water one corner there and one corner there and that should fill up now uh, since I'm using shaders the particle effects are a bit hard to see but I'll show you a bit later now we'll add some blocks here because we actually oh there it is there it is there's a smoke gonna put some stuff on the side just for decoration so we have some candles on one side an item frame with a melon makes for well, I guess it's like a lounge where you can kind of uh, snack uh, putting a pressure plate on top of the item frame hides it so it's a cool little hack and I wouldn't mind having a pumpkin pumpkin pie that was a mouthful and finally on the other side let's just put some sea pickles that kind of looks like cups or glasses for your drinks now that's the hot water in action I think it looks pretty realistic there's another view of it I think it looks pretty damn good now let's start with some pool hacks let's make some floaties this is pretty simple just use glass panes and connect them together like so uh, it looks like one of those uh, well I mean normally it's round but hey it's minecraft and I'm not complaining at all I love the blockiness of minecraft now let's build some rubber floaties this one is a duck floaty just glass blocks some pins on the side buttons for eyes and a slab for the beak now I also that's not an original design I thought I saw that somewhere and I thought it looks really cool and this is a unicorn design with a rod on the top that's an end rod that's pretty expensive you may as well just use one of those new copper rods the, the the lightning rod thingies okay so now we need a place to just lounge and eat because after all that swimming well you might want to just hang out and chill with your friends use that rod again and just put a carpet on top and you have a very compact table now you can build as many tables as you want i think it looks good if you have a lot like i did just now now we got to feed the guests as well so i'm gonna build a little cotton candy uh, stick I guess uh, and then here's another one where I'm gonna use a uh, is that a melon yeah that's a melon and then a pumpkin over here and finally we're gonna have a mushroom stick over here now I think that's fine and dandy but I think it needs a little bit of an extra touch what I'm gonna do is just add some blocks up front just to make it look like a bar or a buffet bar or like a stall I think that looks fine um, I guess we can add some yellow blocks in the back just to make it more colorful and interesting and well food's not free here so we got to put signposts and appropriate prices I guess a dollar for everything should be just fine melon juice one dollar uh, I guess pumpkin pie a dollar as well and we also have some well um, what should I call this I guess uh, I think that's about right and it looks pretty good I guess that's quite fine a little buffet area for your guests now I think a summer pool party wouldn't be perfect without barbecue so let's add that in as well we'll use the same campfire method uh, like we did on that pool and we'll add three of these furnaces in the middle I like to use these uh, red brick walls blocks on the side they just they fit really well with barbecue style designs put item frames on top that's where the food will be later on and now we'll build the back side just uh, make it I think three blocks high should work so one more layer up top over here uh, yeah one more layer and then we'll add an inverted stair up top that should absorb the smoke I mean you, we don't want the guests to get smoked 
So here we're putting the raw meat in the middle and we'll put the cooked meat on the side. I think that's a pretty good touch and well that's what it looks like. And I also built a fish version since not everyone eats meat uh, but uh, do be careful when you eat puffer fish. Um, yeah, they can be pretty bad. Anyway, that's how it looks with the smoke effect. I think that looks pretty cool. Next up, I'm gonna add the build a little bit on the water sl uh, slide section. Uh, there's a few more things I want to build, so just add some more pillars. They should be four uh, blocks apart, so that's uh, four blocks of space. Add one more here, and we'll just build up to the same height as before. All the way up. Yep, that's, uh, that's some pretty fast building skills and fast forward there. So I guess we need to extend the blocks here as well. Okay, supporting beams on that side done. We'll add more on this side and add more on this side as well. Okay, now we just need to add one in the middle and finally we add some slabs over here. And I think the first thing that I want to build here is probably uh, a jumping board. I, I guess we'll just use regular slabs here and just add some support. I think adding, I, I guess some stairs like so. Uh, just to make sure that that thing holds. I think that's sort of a safe idea. Um, personally, I wouldn't jump from that height to a to a pool that is this shallow. I mean, that's a, that's pretty dangerous, folks. So if you see a shallow pool, don't, don't jump from something that high. But, well, I mean, well, Minecraft, you know, I love Minecraft. At least you can do that in Minecraft. So the next thing I want to do here is add another water slide. Now, uh, disclaimer, it actually didn't work the first try, but it's really easy to build. So you just start with any shape you want, like so. Just, I mean, make sure it keeps going down. Obviously the slide doesn't work if you go upwards. So we'll just keep building whatever design that we want. And I'm gonna do a little plunge over here probably. Okay, so that goes a little bit deeper. And we'll build forwards now. And then once that's done, just extend it to the pool like so and now we just gotta fill in the sides with blocks so that the water uh, can go down the middle now i'm gonna just do this real fast there's no point in actually following this like for like just as long as you follow the same principles it should work just fine and if it doesn't or you get stuck for some reason some minor adjustments will basically fix it so again, I'm just uh, doing this in fast forward mode. There's really no point to waste your time on that. So, okay, that is almost done. I am getting a little bit dizzy watching this. I'm gonna go up and try and fill this in with water now. Okay, let's put in that signpost on the side and bucket of water. And here we go, attempt number one. Uh, we got stuck already, so we probably need to add one block there. So troubleshooting really is not difficult with this, okay? So we added that block, and uh, I probably need to break one more block down there, and finally it worked out. And it does look better in fast forward, I guess it feels more like a one of those real life slides. Anyway, uh, after all that swimming, you might want to just get refreshed a bit. So let's do a really simple shower, no redstone involved, just something really simple, minimalistic and modern. I like how this looks. Uh, just put in a water bucket in that dispenser. We, I, I just place a button in front there, add some glass panes. I mean the glass panes give this nice modern look, but also it stops the water from overflowing. And we gotta dig down two blocks underneath to also stop overflowing. Add some uh, stair blocks on the side, and there we go. Hit the button, water flows out, and get yourself refreshed. Okay, you can go out on either side, but I only place the button on one side. So save water, turn it off, and you're done. Okay, and for the next build, I think this might just be one of my favorite ones and also the most time consuming one, so uh, be prepared. So we're gonna build pillars, like so, uh, basically four blocks high, and this will support a, well, okay, let's just make the pillars first, no spoilers. So we're gonna make pillars all the way around the pool. Uh, they're roughly 16 blocks apart. Uh, yeah, that took a while, but the next part is actually gonna take even longer. So this is, uh, I guess, a current pool, you know, one of, some, one of those pools where uh, you just go on a floaty and you get pushed all the way around. 
or maybe a racetrack, whatever you want it to be, you can just modify this later on. So what I'm going to do here is use different colored blocks as well. Eight blocks to one side of the pillar and then extending another eight blocks to the other side of the pillar. And I sort of always keep it with that distance. It ends up looking really good. Okay, so here I am just adding the blocks, making sure that it's roughly the right distance. And then we change colors. Uh, again, every 16 blocks we change colors. And for the curves, you want to add a little bit of width, otherwise it's going to be hard to travel on later on. So we add some more blocks on the second pillar. And afterwards, let's just have an aerial view of me doing this. Uh, since if, if, if you're going to watch me do the whole thing, that I think this took me literally an, an hour, just a track. So be prepared, and that's basically what I was doing. Uh, I think it ended up looking really cool. It's a, it's a really nice addition to the build. Now we're gonna need to add blocks on the side of this pool. Uh, you can add a slab or a block on the side and just build on top of it, but you don't have to do it that way. It's it's really easy to just extend it. But um, for this first attempt, I'm just gonna do it that way. So the white line is basically where we add blocks up top. That's what it looks like, and then we add the same thing on the inner ring. Okay, now we just fill everything up with water. This part is fun, uh, it wasn't as tiring uh, as the other bit, so here I am just filling everything in with water, and here we have it, water all the way to the end. Now we need a way for our folks and friends to be able to get on this ride, so we'll add another platform, uh, any shape you want, doesn't matter. Just some ladders is fine as well. Let's make a chest and let's put in some boats, different colors, so each of your friends can have a different one. Since I'm gonna use this as a racing grid for me and my friends, I'm gonna add a finish line with just some black and white blocks like so. And now I guess it's time to try it out. The moment I've been waiting for. So here I am with my boat and let's see how it goes. And we're at the finish line, and honestly, that was thoroughly satisfying. Definitely worth the, oh, I guess I was over one hour just building that bit. Absolutely loved it. Okay, for some final build hacks, let's make some towels for the pool. I mean, after all that play in the water, we do need to dry ourselves up, so we're gonna use a banner. Add a red or blue dye or any color you want, and I guess using the stripe pattern works really well. It looks like one of those resort or, well, pool towels, like so. I think that looks really good. We'll hang some on the shower, and what we can do is we can make a stand where we can hang some extra towels as well. Just a simple build, some fences, a slab, and just basically towels on the side. I like to just alternate them to make that look a little bit more interesting, so I, red and blue just work really well. And if you can make one, why not make three? That looks pretty good. And last but not least, I guess this is the last trick in the build. Uh, this one I saw on TikTok as well. Basically, just use some trapdoors on the water. I didn't use shaders here, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit hard to see. And basically, you can add stuff on top of it to make a floating dining table. You know, kind of like the ones you see on those really expensive hotels. The places that I can't afford, basically. So you put some, I guess some watermelon on this side looks great. Another picture frame here. This one, I guess, is, I guess, popcorn. Place a pot on one of them as basically a cup holder. Sea pickle works as well. You can put pressure plates to conceal the picture frames. And you can even put a flower on the pot just to make it look a little bit more romantic, I guess, or whatever you want it to be. You can place one of those coral items on top of the, I mean, instead of a trap door, it actually works really well. That's a really cool build hack. And just before I finish, I'm just gonna add some sea lanterns under my pool. 
just because it looks really awesome with the shaders. I mean, look at that. Oh, and uh, people ask me a lot what shaders I actually use, and this is CSPTGI E12, I believe. It's a pretty heavy shader, but then my PC isn't really that great as well, but it works on low render distances. Now that looks really awesome. I mean, check that out. That glow is perfect. This sunrise on this summer pool looks glorious. I really enjoyed making this video, and if you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it, a subscribe and a like on the video would be really awesome. Any comments letting me know of new build hacks or ideas, what I can change would be really awesome as well. Uh, let's just go on this water slide one last time. Down we go. Thanks for watching guys. The name is Masbro. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys hopefully next time.